I'm ranking games published by Sofell for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Sofell stands for Software Engineering Laboratories, I believe. They only made five games for the NES, but all five games are worth checking out, I think. And of course, when I rank them along the way, it may be way different from where you would rank them, so you gotta let me know your stories and where you would rank them in the comments below. Starting with a game that I think most of us who grew up with the NES back in the day probably played this game. I know I did. Up first, we have Casino Kid. Now, this takes your gambling-style game and gives it a storyline. Now you walk into this super fancy casino and you're kind of broke going into a casino. Kind of broke, you only have 500 bucks. But the idea is you have to clean out all the tables and work your way up. You can only do the small betting at first and then later on you can go to the bigger spending tables and bet even more. I promise you there are gamblers today that you might even see on television. There are pro gamblers in Las Vegas that probably learned how to play playing a game like this. Maybe even this specific game. Now, unfortunately, as you're walking around, you see all these other things going on, roulette, slot machines. You can't do any of those. The only two games you can play on Casino Kid are Blackjack and Poker, and that's it. But still, I had a lot of fun with this game. I actually played all the way through it once. I beat it once way back then, and I like this game quite a bit. I'm gonna give this game a B. And then we have Casino Kid 2 that came out five years later, way too late for a sequel. And this game features more of a kind of different story where you actually have to travel around and the different players around the world, you're playing that specific game. Is that Chun-Li? Huh. You choose where you want to travel to and it also tells you what style of game you're going to play. Now this one does have poker, blackjack, as well as roulette. I'm sure there is a strategy to roulette. I don't know what that strategy is outside of, I guess I'll put it here and I guess I'll put it there and we'll see what happens and hope for the best. And I never get the best. <laughs> I'm sure there's a strategy. Please let me know what that strategy is, because I'd love to learn how to play this game with strategy. But right now, it's a whole lot of guessing. And if you're familiar with Casino Kid 2, you know, the blackjack and uh, poker, it's set up the same way, too. So very familiar in that aspect as well. Even though they added the extra elements to this, I, I don't know if it still has the same charm. I liked the first one better, um, but I'm still giving this game a B. I know I like the first one better, and this one's also a B, but again, this is my list. Dragon Fighter kind of came out of nowhere, and this is a game that didn't get a whole lot of press or publicity at the time. I wish it did, because it's such a great game. It just looks fantastic. Now, you are this Dragon Fighter, kind of look like that Dragoon from Final Fantasy IV or Final Fantasy II here in the US. Don't have the biggest health bar either, at least at first. Great music, great sounds, great everything about this game. There is a difficulty level that you have to watch out for. This game is really hard. The gimmick behind this dragon fighter is you have that second bar, and once it's filled up enough, you can actually transform into a dragon. Yeah, you can untransform too, that's fine too, you can fight enemies on the ground, but when you do transforms, it turns into an auto-scrolling kind of shooter here, which is great. And remember I mentioned the difficulty? Yeah, you get one life, that's it. One life, one life and only a few continues. And if you continue, yeah, start at the beginning of the stage, all right. <laughs> Super fun game, but man, it goes for a pretty penny. If you happen to have this game laying around from back in the day, just marinating in your parents' basement, then might want to rescue it. This goes for a few bucks. Most companies on the NES have kind of what they're known for, maybe a couple of other games, and then some random game in there too. And the random game from this company is Clash Ball. Now, Clash Ball was a game I remember seeing for Rent. Uh, I never owned it back then. I did end up getting it later on and playing it later on. It's not super bad. I mean, it's not not that it's even bad to begin with, really. Just not the kind of game that I would look at, you know, at the rental store, look at the back of the box and see the photos and say, ooh, this game's for me. It's another futuristic sports game. I love the fact that people are coming up with new sports games, as if this could have happened. And you know what? Maybe a game like this could have happened. It's a little bit like Pong or Air Hockey, where you have to get your, you know, get the point and the goal on the other side of the screen. Yes, I suppose soccer would work as well. <laughs> like, we're like, there are real sports that do this too. <laughs> But you have this little ball and it kind of like you can shoot it around or you can bounce off these things in the middle and you can, you know, kind of slide and, you know, go for the goal and all that too. I bet this game is super, super fun on a two player. Playing versus the computer is okay. It's okay. But I bet if you had some fun and had a second player and you played this game versus your friends or whatever, I bet that's where the fun of this game really comes into play. And it's really not a bad game. It's just not the kind of game I'd go for. But it's still a C. That's, that's decent, right? Wall Street Kid, if you were like me, it's a game I was very, very interested in and at first didn't have a clue what I was doing. There are two people who play this game. 
there's people who actually know what they're doing, and then there's me. But again, like Casino Kid, I bet there are people who rock the stock market today and they got their start playing games like Wall Street Kid. It teaches you kind of how to play the stock market in a very Nintendo kind of way. So you can ask for information, here's your list of things. You can pick up tips on like, you know, what's doing well, maybe what's not so well or anything like that. And then it comes to the part where you have to buy shares of kind of these fictional companies. I mean, you can look at the names and be like, okay, I know what those are really supposed to be, right? And then as the days move on, you can either make money, you might lose money. You still have to do things uh, for yourself as well. This game is pretty in depth for being simplistic, if that makes any sense whatsoever. And Wall Street Kid, it's a game that you might even want to go back to now that you might know a little bit more about what's going on instead of back then where it's just like, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just buying stuff until it tells me not to and then I hope I make money the next day. Wall Street Kid, very, very interesting game. I'm gonna give this game personally, I'd give it a B. I've never played it long enough to do the things I'm supposed to do, like the buy the house and stuff like that. I never got that far, but eh, you know it, it's it's fun to it's fun to just look at, even especially even nowadays. I have ranked so many other publishers from Nintendo games, Super Nintendo games, Capcom, Konami, all the greats, and in fact, not even all the greats, but also like companies like LJN and Ocean and so many more too. So make sure you check out those videos as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you did this kind of video, make sure you're subscribed. Always got new ones coming up.